Well, hello, hello, y'all. It's Latka, and today, City of Gangsters. Here to watch McCarthy rise above all the other families. Uh, we got Marino and Popov, and today, well, you know, Popov might just... Well, they might just disappear. And, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to them, but I know it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Uh, so today, probably the end of the Popov family, and then we'll let things cool down, uh, leave the Marinos alone for a little bit. Although I don't know if it's better to just take them out right now or to wait until they get larger. I'm not entirely sure. They're already pretty large. Um, probably about, you know, like three fourths the size of me. Um, they're getting pretty close to, uh, can I see their people? One, two. Okay. So they still only have two people running around. Popov actually has more and they like to keep a small outfit. Doesn't care about business, reluctant to fight, prefers to have large crew. Um, doesn't have a large crew. Just has two, unless they're spread out through somewhere. But I don't see them. Uh, but we have Mildred and Lester, and Lester this time has his gun. Yes, uh, he has his gun. So we're going to invade Popov. Hopefully these two... Um... Popovs, uh, Kathleen and Evengia. I'm not. I'm sorry. I said I'd Google it. I didn't. Um, hopefully they move over here. We move down and just. Well, one of them's going down. So, yeah, that's the plan. And we have Haywire getting furniture, dependable. I forget what dependable's doing. I think. Oh, dependable finished getting the stuff there. Yeah. No. You know what? Don't know what the Pendable's doing. Just don't. We'll figure that out next turn. Which will be... Right now. So we didn't make a lot of money today. Because of gambling costs. Plus our bootlegger being shut down and being upgraded into a corner speakeasy. You know. That's always bad. So I need 10 for the quest, right? Yeah. So let's turn that in. And then I need $1,500. That might have to wait for a bit. That might have to wait. Yeah. So we're going to have... Let's see. When do, oh, shoot. Come here and pay this off. $18. And we need to get small barrels and bricks for you as well. Shoot. How much are bricks? How much are bricks? If I get five, 175, I have $90. I've run into a little bit of a money pinch. Um... But that's okay. That's just normal. You know? Like, I spent a lot of money to upgrade places, get things uh, where they need to go, resources, missions so that I can get those resources, so that I can upgrade things. You know? Like, just stuff. Stuff that needed to get done. And uh, I don't regret it. But right now, I'm feeling the pinch. Send her up there. Collect that money. Haywire is just going to collect money for the next few turns. Uh, dependable. Still don't honestly know what you're going to do. So let's get violent. Where is your family boss? Beverly Popov is right there. Unfortunately for you, Invengia, uh, you're about to die. Like, you have a crowbar, a baseball bat, and bare fists. Um, I'm sorry to say that unless I, like, miss, you know, uh, you're dead. You're dead. 
So let's do this. Uh, Lester got roughed up. Unfortunate that she got a hit on him, but that's okay. Uh, Ivangia is dead and gone. That is all their movement um, and actions. Can they pick up stuff? They can. Okay. But that's one of three down. So Kathleen is probably next. Beverly Popov, and that should be all of Popov. Victor, my friend, is where the money's going to come from. Because he needs to sell the hard cider so that we have a little bit of disposable income to complete these quests. Uh, next time this produces, because uh, I completely forgot about this mission for Amaretto Distillation, uh, we will get the bathtub gin in there. Yeah. But for right now, we need to sell this hard cider. And we we sold all it in all of it in two stops. I like it. I like it. Come up here, drop off. I picked the wrong person. So first of all, Victor needs to open this. Drop that off. Drop that in there. And then Victor. You got six movement and one action. So why don't you actually oh, you won't make it. I was going to have him come down here and grab this so that Haywire didn't have to go bop, bop, bop. But Haywire will have to do that regardless. So. You know what? Got 10 out of 10. We just need $1,500 in there. How much do we have in the flower shop? 1362 yeah, we're just feeling pinched right now, unfortunately. Uh, so, once this gets finished and once we produce some gin, moonshine, and hard cider, well, then we'll be floating in it. But uh, until then, we've got to tighten our belts. Unfortunately. So, Joyce, dependable Tyler, pick up all this money. Pick up all this money as well. <laughs> $26, let me tell you. Get you far in this world. Uh, or at least back in the day it actually would, you know. Back in the 20s. Let's see. So $1,500. Let's not do that. Let us get barrels and bricks. Barrels and bricks. So I need 15. There's none there. They, oh, I can sell small barrels there. I don't want to do that. There we go. Right down there. Let's buy some small barrels. I only want 15. And then, well, oh, there it is. We come down here, we buy five bricks. And turn those in. And then we can get hard cider, moonshine, or $600. I'm thinking we get the moonshine. That way we just have some to throw into the bathtub gin. And we don't need to rely on uh, production. You know, like at least one or two productions of moonshine to get it. Uh, hard cider obviously would get us more money. Six hundred dollars flat would be nice, but uh, I mean, like, you would never take the money. Selling these by hand always worth more than whatever you would get with the flat cash. Flat cash is just expedient, and uh, well, this is a patience game, you know. No reason to fast forward through it. So we are going to get that moonshine. We're going to throw it into associated gasoline. And that looks like it's going to be that turn. How full is it now? 
40% full. Now it's 29% full. Yeah, that's right. So we'll need small bottles and some more spice in there. I wish, honestly, I kind of wish there was a way to stop this. I don't need gasoline. I don't need it now, and I won't need it until, like, tier four alcohols. So it's just kind of a waste right now. Uh, but let's us hit that next turn. Uh-oh. The Popov has become angry. New mementos. Lester Goodman. Well, Lester, you are now a well-known brawler. Again. Kathleen. Mildred, let's have a talk with Kathleen. Oops. No. Ooh, she's got a pocket pistol, so she could potentially... Potentially. Okay. Potentially. There we go. Kill Lester. Um, we're going to hope it doesn't happen. Dead. Uh, Mildred rolled a straight-up hundred on Kathleen and absolutely decimated her. So... That, that went well. That went very well. So there's one left. Where are you? Where are you, Popoff? There you are. Beverly, where the heck are you going? See, I would hit her. I'm just nervous. Well, let's see. Straight up. There's just no way she can get into my territory um, and hit a building just yet. I, I don't think she has like 25 movement, you know, one, two, three, four, nine, 14, 15, 14. Yeah, no, there's just I don't think there's a way we're going to find out, though. We're gonna find out. You're still on the take, right? Till June? And what about you, Katie? May 26th. So closer, but not quite. Um, just gonna leave them here, I think. Yeah. So, Haywire. Why don't you stop down here? You're gonna pick up all this money. don't want to expand here anymore because we would just expand here well I guess that's one more place to extort but actually I think it's much better to expand from here yeah so here we expand oh it's just one in either direction so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we will expand right here, since I'm right here. We'll just do that. And then we need to fix up your vehicle. Come up here. Get that vehicle fixed. And then, well, shoot. Chill out at home base. When will this produce? Two turns? Two turns. And then we'll need bottles. Should have sent her out for bottles. Oh well. You know what? Are there bottles down here? Yeah. Oh, they hate me because of extortion. Uh, should have clicked them before I sent her out. Okay. So you know what? Let's see. What will you need? Are you going to need Crocs anytime soon? No. What about you? Small barrels, I think? 
Yeah, let's get some more small barrels for apple cider. The apple juice. Not apple juice, I'm sorry. Small barrels. Okay, okay. Everyone hates me, that's okay. You know, it's just... Sometimes that's just the way the world is. You know, you make some money and people go like, Oh, how dare you make all that money off me? And... Well, then you, you know... You break in their storefront and say, Hey, pay me more money. <laughs> I'm just joking. Never do that. That is wrong. Where are you? Right there? Okay. So, honestly... That's not enough. Between Dependable and Haywire, that's not enough money. Victor, did you drop off? Yeah, you did. Um. So we kind of just have, like... Two turns where the hard cider and moonshine are producing before we <laughs> before anyone can do anything. Which is frustrating. Although we'll probably just We'll do that, even though it's like two hundred a turn. Yeah. hundred and ninety a turn. But that's okay. Victor, my friend. Do we actually have anything for you to do? Because I just don't think I have any money to buy more ingredients for anything. I don't think we have anything for Victor to do. Because I got 2,800 in the gambling den. I need two grand in there, period. But I guess I could take out 800. Um, probably wouldn't do that though, because if they had a bad day, they'd dip under two grand and then just stop operating altogether. So we don't want to do that. We have about a thousand on Joyce, about a thousand in Joe's flowers. Okay. Yeah, we don't have anything for Victor to do, so he's just going to chill out. Let's hit that next turn button. Oof. Someone got lucky at the gambling. That's rough. Who? Someone is... Three hundred dollars. He's up four hundred and forty dollars. She's up six hundred and twenty-five. It's brutal, man. I'm losing so much money here. Also, where did Popov go? Okay. Uh, Beverly, goodbye. It was nice knowing you. He's got a pocket pistol, so she could kill Lester. Oof. And she did. Unfortunate. Lester, you are a good man. Um. Dude, you know? That's brutal. You know, I, I'll do it. Do I get any of the money? Lester had in his car? Or is the car gone as well? Looks like the car's gone as well. Oh well. Uh, well, Popov is gone. So, yeah. Oh well. 
could have gone better, but it didn't. So we won't hold on to that. Drop off this cache. And then we're going to send you back up here into our territory. I always try to end in my own territory. Right there. Turning this money. Speaking easy. So now we got $88 left. Mildred. Uh, oh well. We can always hire more muscle. It's not like Lester was a operations manager or something, you know? He was just kind of a guy with a gun. So. Still, you know, I'll pay his family. I'll pay his family every turn. I don't, I don't mind doing that. He did good work. We'll just have to recuperate before we move on the Marinos. So. There's about three turns left on this, I think. Maybe two? Maybe two turns. Is everything going to cycle at once? Because this will produce next turn. This will produce next turn. And this will produce in two turns. So no, nothing. It's not going to cycle all at once. Okay. Um, well, we got some quests. Let's check them out. Oh, uh, they're the angry quests. Uh, that's just money. and I don't really care about that. Uh, what about this? You're friendly. Yeah. Don't really care, my friends. So let us actually come up here and take some money out. Right, right. Maybe I shouldn't leave. If they win again, my friends are going to have a talk with them. You know, if I lose $300 again, let me tell you, someone's getting fired and someone's getting some broken legs. Haywire. Why don't you just chill at the hard cider place? Victor, you're just going to chill over at the moonshine place. And then when these produce, we have you ready to just pile them into here. Because that will produce next turn. Or be completed next turn after that. So let's hit that next turn button. course it's saving which tanks everything give it a minute or two or even three you know even then it's still writing to the disk I made four dollars and sixteen cents. So gamblers lost big this turn. Down ninety-two, down eighty-five. Chester Lester, where are you? Chester, you okay? Vernon D'Angelo, you are the bath of gin. Lower requirements or boost production? I think we lower the amount we need, so that would bring it down. What was it, 48 to 44? That's not bad. There's a train running by, sorry about that, guys. Pull up. All the hard cider. Oh, 
All right, sorry about that, y'all. I muted myself while the train ran, but all we did there was uh, we took the hard cider, put it into the soon-to-be corner speakeasy, and then I have... Let's see, Victor has all the moonshine, so he's going to toss some in here. Not all of it, but a good chunk. Um, let's see, it's going to sell 28 every four turns. So why don't we drop in... Sixty. I don't know why sixty, but that's what I'm picking. And then Victor's going to chuck the rest of the moonshine in here. So we have quite a bit of moonshine to burn through. So we probably want to lower the production cycle. You know, make it uh, produce more in less turns. Maybe we'll hand sell some some moonshine i'm not sure not too sure pipes overproduced chester lester deep into debt a new memento hey wire let's go have a chat with chester you ran up quite the tab not gonna lie flat cash would be helpful Uh, he's got 14 days. April 9th. Okay, so two turns, and then... Hey, Wire. My dear. My dear, you got $88. Actually, let's move Mildred. Mildred needs to get back up. Oh, sweet. I like it. Yeah. Heal there, Mildred. And then we'll have to repair your car as well. But Mildred has quite a bit of change on her. Drop that off. Drop those off. And we'll just... Well, pocket pistol's pretty nice. And by nice, I mean like it's a free, free weapon, you know? But we will get rid of these. I don't really care about them. Maybe we'll keep a hold of the pocket pistol. For now. But hey, why, why don't you come down here? Pick up the money. Because I do actually want to start upgrading the speakeasy. So we want old-time glassware, which... Uh, let's see, should increase the price of things, more bar seating or trap door. I don't have the secret doors, so we'll do more bar seating. And then, yes, we'll give her back $364 and she will go buy some bottles for the moonshine. Endable, why don't you come down here? And honestly, see if you can't sell 80 moonshine. Let's see here. So we're, we're going to hit this. We're going to go up in a weird way. Um, just because it's very rare to not have a dang old cop right there, so. We are going to sell as much moonshine as we can. Have a move over there. She's out of actions, unfortunately. And then Victor, my friend, this produces next turn. So honestly, we're just going to leave you there. Victor's having it pretty easy. But this next turn, ooh, a new operation. That is Wolfgang Krauss, a regular at your gambling den, has taken their money and left after making $9. Okay, 
Alicia has to go. She's cheating. Look at that. Yeah. No, Alicia. She's got to go. Uh, got to go. Let's buy these bottles real quick. Drop them off. We're good there. Oh, we need some money in there. Um, how much do I have in here? Nine hundred sixty-two dollars. Okay. But I do want you to come down here. You can't make it, so we're actually not going to do that. Pick up this money, though. Drop it in here. Pick up all that. And move it back over here. How much money do I have in the gambling den? 26? Okay. Organized, hardworking, and sharp-eyed. Yeah, she's got to go. Got to go. Sell some more moonshine. By hand. Eight crocs. The ninth. One more turn. And that guy's day of reckoning will come. Tell some more. Let's talk about that cost, my friend. Seven crocs. Got seven left. Unfortunately, that's all of her action points. But we can move her over there. And then Victor, my friend. Pick up the bathtub gin. Deliver it to the quest. Amaretto distillation. More than welcome. Also come down here. And then there's no way you'll make it, but we're going to ship you over here to drop off the rest of that gin. Okay, so let's check this out. We have hard cider, moonshine, and bathtub gin. We just learned how to make amaretto. So obviously, next step would be brick wine or homemade beer. Homemade beer might be a little harder to do simply because there's like uh, legislation. Uh, I don't, I still don't know where the heck to find that. Let's see. Political? No. This is all zones, info overlays. Um, laws. Here we go. Uh, the malt syrup ban. I would have to gain more influence to revoke that so that I could gain access to malt syrup to make the dang old beers. Um, but let us see if there's any nuts around. Two sources of nuts. Unfortunately, both rather well outside my territory. Uh, but Popov is gone, so this is all open. Uh, we'll just have to watch the Marinos and see if they expand this way, down, or if they expand towards me. And if they expand towards me, well, it's going to be bad, bad for them. Okay. But that is going to be this episode. Thank you for watching. This is Latka. Um, if you've made it this far, you know, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I made a Discord. You're all more than welcome to come and join. Talk, talk about your favorite games. Talk about City of Gangsters. 
you know, leave me hints, tips, whatever you want to do. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. So this is Laka. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.